Back at the Green Turtle Classic with Lynchburg head coach Steve Kadelka. I'm Sid Zweigbaum with SFMSports.net. Coach, you guys go 2-0 in the tournament. A win today against Dickinson, 14-9. How were you guys able to keep them uh, from making a comeback? They got it within three a couple of times in the second half. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I credit to, to Dave and, um, you know, Dickinson. I mean, we kind of – you, know, you kind of knew just watching our game yesterday, they were going to come out of halftime swinging, and that's what those kids do. And, um, you know, we were able to kind of weather the storm there a little bit. I, you know, their goals weren't changing, and that's something we talked about not allowing them to do. But um, but I think our guys just got back to the basics and we were able to score a couple goals there to kind of – and then I think at the end of the third, kind of getting those two late ones was, was big, kind of build the lead back up to five goals. Uh, with uh, such offensive talent on the attack, Murphy, Stewart, Galvin, how fun for you as a to coach your offense this year? <laughs> you know, it, it is fun. You know, I think um, – you know, we, we love those guys. You know, they're, they're great players. They work, work really well together. And, uh, you know, and they're, they're fun to work with. I and mean, I think our, we're starting to really kind of scratch the surface on what we can do. Um, and so we're hoping, obviously, that, that this is not the, the best we play all year. Uh, talk about the decision and how you think it's played out so far to go with Chris Hawley in the goal. This is his third year with the team. Uh, he hadn't started a game prior to 2015. Uh, he replaces a guy in Fox who played pretty well last year. No doubt. Uh, obviously, you're a guy who played goalie professionally and in college. Uh, you know a lot about the position. Uh, you know How has that played out so far in your mind? You, you know, I mean, we're, we're lucky. We have four goalies in our program, and they're all really good. And, and, and through January and February, it was a battle, you know, and uh, – and Chris just was probably the, just the most consistent out of all of them. And, and so we gave him the nod the first game. And uh, he's played really well just about in every game, you know. But Andrew Fox is kind of the next guy in line, like you said. And you know, he had a great tournament here last year. And, um, you know, he's, he's ready. You know, he has been working his tail off and as a senior. And if his opportunity and his name is called, we'll, we'll go with him. But, um, you know, we're, we're lucky to have those guys, as many as they are. They, they push each other every day. And uh, that's one of the reasons I think Chris has become a pretty good goalie. You guys have played an extremely ambitious schedule uh, to get to this point. Uh, you've played five ranked teams already. You've got some more on the schedule. How much does this two-day event help you guys get ready for uh, conference play in the ODAC starting? Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, I, I think you're right. Our schedule so far has kind of been the who's who, you know, and um, – and that's been fun. I mean, I think that's what we want to do. You know, our guys want to play the best. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't think we're getting anything out of beating somebody by a lot. So, you know, we want to be in these grinds and, and these tough games. And I think we've learned a lot from – and we've been on the road a lot too. You know, it's, it's one thing to play these games at home, but we've been on the road a lot. And, uh, you know, so that's one thing. And then the second thing is the ODAC tournament. You know, at the end of the year, if we're fortunate enough to be in the ODAC championship game, which we want to be in, you have to play a Saturday-Sunday format. And so – this this weekend is one of those weekends that really allows our guys to kind of to learn from it, um, and, and I felt like they did a really good job with that. And, and, and w hopefully, if we get to that point, we can learn from this and get, and get better on it. All right, Coach. Well, I know we'll see you back here in about two weeks. You've got yeah. another another one of those ambitious games Absolutely. on the schedule. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for coming, and uh, we wish you best of luck the rest of the year. Appreciate it. That was Lynchburg head coach Steve Kadelka. I'm Sid Zweigbaum with SFMSports.net at the Green Turtle Classic. Back at the Green Turtle Classic, Sid Zweigbaum from SFMSports.net here with Dickinson head men's lacrosse coach Dave Webster. Coach, tough loss for you guys today, 14-9 to at the hands of Lynchburg. Uh, you're down 9-3 to at the half. You guys get three goals to start the third. Were you guys feeling like uh, it was going to be another one of those games? That every time you've lost this season, it's been a one- or two-goal game. Did it feel like you guys were, were on the verge of the comeback? And, and what happened to stall it? Well, yeah, we keep putting ourselves in a hole. Uh, we, we certainly have addressed that quite a bit. Uh, we did a couple different things with personnel differently today, some out of necessity from injury, others with just trying to, to kickstart, you know, the beginning of games and got the first goal, I think, of the game and then uh, not much consistency after that until we got to that second half. So something we've been plagued with all season, some of that's youth. Uh, some of, I've got to I've got to take some responsibility of that as, as coach and, and figure that out. Uh, but we got to make a change for that going into our conference this week. How difficult is uh, Lynchburg's trio? Stewart, Galvin, and Murphy. I mean, you're talking about guys that had great years last year, and they're all back. Yeah, this year. a great attack, and and just uh, the, the the whole offense just plays so well together. Just really unselfish and uh, great teamwork. Uh, a good good thing for us to learn from. Your guys' record drops to two and five, but so many of these losses have been close games, and, and certainly a game like today. Obviously, uh, as you said, you throw out another quarter uh, like yesterday against Nazareth. Throw out a couple of quarters, and you guys come out on top. Uh, how much 
do you have to get your guys not worried about the record, but just on the way they're capable of playing at certain times? Yeah, great question. We haven't talked about record. It's not something that, that we've addressed. Uh, it's uh, I don't think it's an, an issue. Uh, our, our focus, our goal is always to win the Centennial Conference. That begins on Wednesday night. Uh, it's a grind. Everybody in our conference is really competitive, well coached. So that's our goal. Continues to be record. Is, yeah, it's important, but but that's not our primary goal. Well, the record starts now. That's Getting right. into Centennial right. Conference play, how much does this Green Turtle Classic uh, help you guys uh, get set for conference play? You're playing two different opponents, two good opponents uh, in less than 24 hours. How much does that help you guys get ready uh, for a tough conference? That's that's why we're here. You know, it's, it's teams that we don't normally play, haven't seen a lot of. We, we learn a lot from that type of experience. Uh, we've got to make some adjustments and on, and on the fly. Uh, it's, it's an awesome event, a, a, a lot of fun, so well run doing these things with you guys. It, it makes the experience really, really special. Coach Webster, we appreciate your time, and we wish you good luck the rest of the year. Thanks. That was head coach Dave Webster from Dickinson. We will be uh, right back with more. This is the Green Turtle Classic with SFMSports.net.